at the Creative Sisters in Oliphant, you can find great seasonal decor and you can also find the perfect gifts for everyone. Hey there, Bria. Hey, Marissa. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. So tell us what we're doing today. Today we're gonna make a fall planter that you could put mums in or some pumpkins and gourds. Awesome, let's get started. All right, let's, let's go. go. So first off, we started by using our CNC machine and we cut out our pumpkin shape that we're going to use. Okay. So I'm gonna start by painting it and I'm gonna do orange pumpkins and I'm gonna do a dark green stem. All right, so while you're painting that, um, I wanted to point out that I really like this uh, particular planter because it's something that you can use all the way until uh, Thanksgiving. Like, I mean, you know, once Halloween's over, like nobody wants to see the Halloween yes, things anymore. Exactly. But this you could keep out, which this is This you, nice. you could put out from the beginning of September yeah. all the way till Thanksgiving, like you said. Yeah, to me this is like worth the investment because you can get so many months out of it. Definitely. And later on when we build the box for the planter, mm -hmm. we do use cedar wood so it will hold up when you're watering it. Yes. It's not going to rot on you. So it's well worth the investment and you could put some mums in it. You could put some small pumpkins in yeah. gourds. You yeah. could really do a couple different things with it. Yep. So we're going to put two coats on everything. All right. And then we're going to seal it. All right. It's important to seal all of the wood pieces, isn't it? Absolutely. Just for weather-wise. Just been watering it, weather-wise, the sun, all of that. Finishing up my orange. Okay. And now I'm going to do my green for my stems. Right. And then once that's dry and I do my second coat on the front, I'm going to paint the back as well. Excellent. I think that's important because it gives it that finished look. It's a and finished look. If you see it from the back a little bit, that's yes. okay because it's finished. All of our wooden items, everything, it's completely finished front and back and okay. everything is sealed on the front and back as well. I think that's important. I mean, it's, everything's so hand done and it looks It just good. looks more complete. Mm -hmm. All right, looks good. Yep, we have all of our coats on. We did the back as well. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do some shading and distressing to all really right. kind of bring the pumpkins to life. So I'm going to start with using my black paint and I'm just going to take a little on my brush at first. I'm yeah, I mean, this, it's funny because this shows now that there are three pumpkins there right. actually. <laughs> right, right. It, it kind of is deceiving, but yeah. we're going to show that there is three pumpkins, not just one giant pumpkin. So that's where the shading really comes to life with this. I'm going to kind of do an outline along all of them just so you could see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that my black is good, mm -hmm. I'm going to take some white and I'm going to lighten it up a little bit All right. with some of the white. Kind of like a little bit of highlights there. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take the white and I'm mm -hmm. just going to still kind of distress with it. But again, I'm not putting a lot of paint on my right. brush at right. first. All right, that's just enough white. And now Marissa's is going to come in and we're going to assemble our box. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we're here with Marissa and uh, you're going to assemble the whole thing. Yes, so Bray painted the pumpkin. Uh, we also have the sign that's yes. going to go in the back, so we cut this out and painted this as well. Mm -hmm. And we have our box that we're going to assemble as well. All right. And last but not least, we have our little bows for the tops of the pumpkins. All right, so I guess we can get started with the stapler. Yes. So we have our staple gun, mm -hmm. we have our bows. We're going to hold them down and we're going to staple them. Right. Great. We'll put a couple in just to make sure it stays. There we go. Beautiful. So we okay. have our bows. Yes. Now we are going to move the pumpkins out of the way and we're going to assemble the box. All right. So we have our box. We're going to put kind of assembled back. it, but we have the last piece to put together. Yep. Yeah. And as Bria mentioned, this is made out of cedar. All right. So it will hold up in the elements. And um, the bottom is open as well. So if you do have yep. something live in there, the mumps, it, you know, you won't It'll have drain. to worry about. Right. All right, so we are going to put the pumpkins onto the box now. Okay. And I will, I'll turn it sideways so you can hold it for me. Yep. Okay. All right, so we can flip this over. Beautiful. And we just have our last piece to nail on. Okay. So I'm going to take the sign on this side and I'm going to turn this around so you can hold the sign for me. All right. All right, beautiful. And we're done. So we have everything assembled and all we need are the mums. This is so awesome, I love it.
Well, Marissa Bria, these look absolutely beautiful. Thank I, you. I just think everyone's going to want one for their porch. I agree. Or <laughs> it's a must have yeah. for fall. So we're located at 594 Burke Bypass in Oliphant. You can also check out our Facebook page and Instagram page at Creative Sisters Designs. And you could also shop our Etsy page at creativesistersgifts.etsy.com. But you can also just stop in our store. We have so much here in store. We have fall, Thanksgiving, and even Christmas is starting. So definitely stop in and check us out. Absolutely. Thank you once again, ladies. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.